ASL options within item definition. So if you recall, a little while ago, we defined a brand new item for testing ASL and we have checked a couple of item related options to restrict the entries of purchasing documents to approved supplier only. And those are the options which have got anything to do with the ASL that we have just defined. So let's go and understand them a little more. So I'm going to minimize this and I will go back to Oracle Applications, copy the item and then we will go to the item definition. So let's minimize this to go to item definition, go to items, master items and then query with that item that we just defined. And the one which is related to ASL is in purchasing tab and the specific one use approved supplier. So when this checkbox is checked, you can't use unapproved supplier in purchasing documents with this item and the system wouldn't allow you to approve those purchasing documents at all. Instead, you would be presented with a validation error. So what we have done, we have set up this at the master level itself. So next time if we create and assign this item to an inventory organization, then this checkbox would be checked automatically. But optionally, you can uncheck that checkbox at the organization level, which means that you are allowing unapproved suppliers to be used with this item on purchasing documents for that particular inventory organization. Now in our case, we have assigned this item to one inventory organization, which is M1. You can see, and if you go to that org attributes within purchasing, this checkbox would be checked and it got defaulted from the master level one. Now let's test this functionality on a purchasing document. So before we go on testing, I want to go back to the approved supplier list. And just to recap, we have defined the ASL for this item and only with G plastics as the supplier with this supplier site. There is no other supplier associated with this item, which is called as an approved supplier. So to test this functionality, we have to use some other supplier, not G plastic. Okay. Now let's go to purchasing, purchase orders form. And let's try with a supplier, let's say Allied Manufacturing and give some site. And here I will change the ship to, to M1, which is associated with M1 inventory organization. And then come to the bottom and give your item and give some quantity, let's say two as a quantity and let's save this record. So you can as well save this purchasing document. There's no problem at all. But when you hit the proof button at that time, you will get the validation error stating that this supplier is not approved with this item and you must use only approved supplier. So let's try it out. Look at that. You got the error, error line one, Schedule 1 item is restricted and the supplier is not an approved supplier for this item. So that's what is the significance of the attribute I've shown you which works in conjunction with the approved supplier list. Mm -hmm.